Hey guys, we are going to take a whole number 10 and divide it by a mixed number three and three fifths. Okay. So before I do this, there's two things I want to do. I want to make 10 look like a fraction. It doesn't look like one right now to do that. All I have to do is put it over a one. Okay. So I've got 10 over one. So now it looks like a fraction. Okay. And then I want to actually turn this mixed number into an improper fraction. That's when the top is bigger than the bottom, which is apparently very improper. Okay. So we are going to turn this into an improper fraction. I'll link a video in the corner if you need another example, but I'm also going to do it right here. So what we do is we take our denominator and we multiply it by the big number. Okay. So five times three gives me 15. And then we add the numerator. So 15 plus three gives me 18. That is the numerator for my improper fraction and my denominator stays the same. It's still five. Okay. And we are dividing these. Okay. When we divide fractions, all we have to do is we take our second fraction, we flip it and then we multiply. Okay. Does that sound crazy? <laughs> I'll link a video in the corner explaining why this works if you're interested. Okay. So I'm going to take my first fraction, 10 over one. My second fraction, I'm going to flip. So it's going to be five over 18. And then we are going to multiply. Okay. Good news when we multiply fractions is that the denominators don't have to be the same. So we can just multiply it now. That being said, there's two ways we can kind of think of this. We can multiply and then simplify, or we can simplify first. So I'm going to show you two different ways. So the first way is we're going to multiply first. So we just multiply straight across. So 10 times five gives me 50 and one times 18 gives me 18. Okay. So I get 50 eighteenths, but we always want to check and see if it simplifies. Okay. So, um, I ask myself what goes into both 50 and 18? Well, two goes into both of them, right? So I'm going to simplify this by taking a two out from the top and bottom. If you're not super familiar with simplifying fractions or if you need a review, I'll link a video in the corner. Um, but 50 divided by two gives me 25. 18 divided by two gives me nine, okay? And then we do like to turn it back into a mixed number, okay? So to do that, I just ask myself, how many times does nine go into 25? Well, it goes twice, right? But nine times two is 18, so I have some left over. I have seven left over. And we're still in ninths, okay? So that is my answer, okay? But then what if we had noticed we could simplify this first, okay? So we're going to do it again over here. So it's good to get in the habit of when you are multiplying fractions to see if anything on top can simplify with anything on bottom. So if I were doing this, I might notice, oh, 10 and 18 are both even, so I can take two out of both of those. So if I take two out of um, 10, I'm left with five because 10 divided by two is five. And then if I take two out of 18, 18 divided by two gives me nine. Okay. So then we have five times five gives me 25. And one times nine gives me nine. Okay. Well, look at that. So we did the same thing. We just simplified first. And of course, this will convert to the same mixed number. Okay. All right. So whichever one of those ways made more sense, go ahead and do it that way. Um, but hopefully this made sense. 10 divided by three and three fifths gives me two and seven ninths. Thanks.